I recently used the notebook feature in the Gospel Library app to help me prepare and then give a talk in church. And guess what? I loved it. Quotes and references were exactly where I needed them to be. I used my iPad for the talk and was easily able to see the content in my talk notebook. Notebooks are an awesome tool. Notebooks can help improve your gospel study, help you prepare for a talk or a lesson, and have many other uses. Let me show you a few tips on how to create and use notebooks. Before we get started, just a reminder, as always, be sure that you're logged into the app so you don't lose any of your notebooks or your markings or anything like that. All right, to begin, I'm here on the home page. You can click on the home button if you're not there. And I'm gonna scroll down to study tools and within study tools, I'm gonna click on notebooks. You can see there are a few different notebooks that I have created over time. And what I want to show you is how you can add your own notebook and add content to a notebook. And then I'll go back in and show you what that would look like inside a notebook. So there are a couple ways that you can add content to a notebook. The first is here within notebooks, you can come and click on this plus button right here in the bottom right corner. And you can give the notebook a name. And for this example, I'm going to create a notebook that I'm going to start throwing in my personal notes and other content to share with my son, Daniel, on his mission. So I'm going to give the notebook the title, Daniel, and then I'll click Save. And so you can see it's now created the notebook, Daniel, but there are zero items in it right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and go to a different screen. And I was studying Camille Johnson's talk, Jesus Christ is Relief. And in that, I really love this part that talks about Jesus Christ lightening our load. And so I'm going to go ahead and select that. Jesus Christ can lighten our load and the things that he can do for us, he can bring us relief. And then I'm going to come here and click on add to. And this is the other way you could create a notebook. You could come down here and hit the plus button right there and type in a notebook name right there. I already have the notebook, Daniel, so I'm not going to do that again, but you could create a notebook right there. I'm going to hit cancel. Instead, I'm going to come right here. Here's my Daniel notebook. I'm going to click on that. And that has just added this quote right here into my Daniel notebook. And off on the right here, you can see a little icon that shows that this is connected to a notebook. And I could click on that and see that it's part of the Daniel notebook. In addition, I could click on the three dots up here and click on related content and scroll right there and see that this is connected to the Daniel notebook. So it's in the Daniel notebook. And what I want to do is come down here and click on the home screen and go to notebooks. And now here are all my notebooks. And let's go inside our Daniel notebook. And right here we have that quote that I just added. And the cool part is I email my son every week and in the bottom of the email, I tried to include a spiritual message. And so now that I have this notebook that I'm starting, I can add spiritual quotes and things like that to it that I want to share with him in my email every week. So the thing that makes notebooks really powerful is the ability to add your personal thoughts without necessarily having to connect them to a scripture or to a conference talk or some other content. You can come down here and click on the plus button and you can add a title if you want, it's not required. I'm just gonna call it personal thought and, and just type in there, I can add my personal thoughts here. Um, one thing to note is you can add formatting to these just like regular notes. You can add whatever formatting you want to your personal thoughts. So once that's done, I'm gonna come up here and click done. And now you can see it's added my personal thought here into this Daniel notebook. Okay, I wanna go ahead and add one more thing to this notebook. So I'm gonna come jump over here and go up here to this scripture I have in Jacob 7. And I already have this highlighted. Behold, the Lord God poured in his spirit into my soul. But I want to add this to my notebook as well. So I'm just gonna click on that, the part that's already highlighted and click add to and then choose my Daniel notebook because maybe this is something I want to share with him as well. And then I'll jump back over here to this notebook and you can see it's just added that scripture right there. 
Okay, so you can see you can add conference talks or other content. You can add personal thoughts. You can add scriptures. You can also come up here and click on the three dots and click on edit. And that will give you the ability to drag these where you want. I used this drag feature to help organize a talk that I gave and to be able to put my thoughts and the scriptures and the quotes right where I wanted them to. It's very handy to be able to just drag what we want. Or you can click the minus button over here and delete a note as well. And then click done. So that's what it looks like inside of a notebook. One other thing to note on notebooks, you may wonder how do I rename a notebook? You can come up here and when you're inside notebooks, and click on the three dots and click edit. And then maybe I want to change this Daniel one to Daniel mission. I can do that and then click save. And now it's called Daniel mission. You can also search for your notebooks by name. So I could type Jesus Christ, start typing Jesus Christ and it'll pull up my Jesus Christ notebook. There you go. That's how notebooks work in the gospel library app. Check out these videos for more from Gospel Mom Tech and be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos.